But when the Bible says forever and then attach another forever to it, forever and ever, that's eternal. That's right. Forever by itself is not eternal. Forever by itself is an indefinite period of time in which a thing will be done. That's right. But when the Bible says forever and ever, now that's eternal. Welcome back to the Seeking for the Truth YouTube channel. The purpose of this video is for scriptural education based on our topics which are on the day of the Lord and will this earth we living on survive it. Pastor Gino Jennings warns in the following excerpt that the day of the Lord will take place even though many don't believe and wish to live contrary to God's word. Jennings showed where his teaching regarding the earth on the day of the Lord differs from the teaching of the Jehovah's Witnesses. Pastor Jennings substantiated his points with 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 10 which states, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. According to the Jehovah's Witness organization website jw.org it states, God meant for the earth to be the eternal home for mankind. It was to be filled with obedient humans who would care for it and live forever on it. God's purpose for the earth has not changed. God's word clearly states, the earth remains forever, according to Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 4. Furthermore, it will be inhabited for all time, the righteous will possess the earth, and they will live forever on it, according to Psalm chapter 37 verse 29 end quote. Pastor Jennings boldly tackled their stance in the following excerpt with the scripture we read earlier from 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 10 and broke down the scripture that states the earth abide forever, so without further hindrance let's dive into the excerpt. One day you're going to hear universal commotion. Oh yeah. And you're going to look out your window. Hallelujah. Oh yeah. thank God. Hallelujah. And there is the I am. Yeah. That Hallelujah. I am. In the heavens. Oh yeah. Amen. You fools out here that say there is no God. Mm -hmm. Amen. That don't bother God. No, no. Oh. Amen. That don't bother God. Listen, you can look at a house burning mm -hmm. and say that house is not on fire. That don't stop the fire. No. And your unbelief don't put out the flame. No, no. One day creation is mm -hmm. going to see God. The day of the Lord. Do you hear this? In Second Peter chapter 3 and at verse 10. The apostle Peter declared. But the day of the Lord. The Lord's. Day will come. I want you Jehovah Witnesses to get this. That's right. Amen. Yo, you're going to find your comic book won't help you. That's right. Your watchtower, that won't help you. Amen. You may walk around, knock on people's doors, interrupting a good southern breakfast, hmm. but God help your watchtower heart. Yeah. Amen. You know, the Jehovah Witnesses don't believe that the earth's going to pass away. They're so deceived of their father, the devil. They read the scripture that says the earth shall abide forever. forever. And they're so ignorant of the language of the Bible, they don't know what forever means. Mean. That's right. Forever is an indefinite period of time in which a certain thing would be done. Yeah. And when that thing have been accomplished, that forever concerning that thing come to an end. Right. But when the Bible says forever and then attach another forever another. to it, forever and ever, yeah. that's eternal. That's right. Forever by itself is not eternal. No. Forever by itself is an indefinite period of time in which a thing would be done. That's right. But when the Bible says forever and ever, yeah. now that's eternal. That's right. So when the Bible says the earth abide forever that's true that means the world will be here for a certain period of time that's right but my god when the date expire yes. and when that time is up oh we take god the day of the lord come then lord. the day of the lord will come it's coming oh yes it's coming let's get all the smoke you can drag out your cigarette now now <laughs> then that you love flame so much, you, you'll get educated. The day of the Lord will come. As a thief in the night. Now, there's no thief that ring your house and say, hey, your, your name is Mr. Brown? Mm. Yeah, Mr. Brown, I'm about five doors up. I'm mm. just burglarizing your neighbor's house. I've been here in about uh, 45 minutes. Leave the door unlocked. <laughs> All right, Mr. Thief, you don't do that. No, no. The thief come inside your house. He don't care if you bathing. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Hey, man, the thief come in your house and walk by your bathroom while you in your shower, scrubbing and humming. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Amen. He get what he have to get and get gone. Oh, yes. God Almighty gone burglarized creation. That's right. 
He gonna catch you. That's right. And you know what's making it so frightening? Many people gonna be functioning just like they are every day. Yeah. Having church. Two men somewhere gonna be getting married. Yeah. Two women somewhere gonna be getting married. Yeah. Somebody gonna be cussing God out. That's right. Somebody gonna be blaspheming God's holy name. That's right. Some false prophet gonna try to belittle God and make God like him. A liar. Some bigot gonna be persecuting somebody somewhere else. Yeah. Everything gonna be functioning in its norm. That's right. And God is gonna interrupt it. That's right. Think of it. Imagine walking the street, you and your family having a big time, and an earthquake hits you. Yeah. Eat something on the Richter scale. It catches everybody off guard. That's right. That's the way the coming of the Lord going to be. That's right. Mm -hmm. But the day of the Lord will come. The day of the Lord will come. As a thief in the night. As a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away. What's going to pass away? The heavens. Yes. The heavens. Heavens. Plural. Plural. Oh, that got everything. All right. That got the skies that you see. That got the heavens and the heavens of heavens. And mm -hmm. the, the Bible says how Jesus ascended above all heavens. Oh, the nice. heavens that you see and the heavens that you can't see. Right. God going to wipe it all out. That's right. I mean, just imagine one day you look up and the sky is not beautiful and blue no more. Right. But the entire sky is rolling with flames. Amen. And all you can do is run and holler and scream. Yeah. But your time is up. Yeah. Amen. This period of time right now is an extension of God's mercy. That's right. This is the time that God show his mercy. That's right. To give men and women the proper time to get on God's side. Amen. Amen. This is your time now, Mississippi and the rest of the world, to get on God's side. That's the only reason why we're traveling like we are. My God, man, if I didn't love the soul of people, you think I'd be all the way down here? No. Not at all. Not down here? No. Oh, no. Not at all. Oh, no. Don't you know if one person would have came to this meeting, we wouldn't have turned the cameras off? We wouldn't have canceled service. Oh, no. It was one person in the building. Amen. We have preached the same message. That's right. Amen. So that one can get a chance to obey God. That's right. You get what I'm telling you? But the day of the Lord. The day. Hallelujah. Will Glory come. come. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The day of the Lord. Will come. It will. Will come. Not guessing. Will. Will Not come. I suppose. Oh, no. It, it will happen. Uh -huh. As a thief in the As night. As a thief in the night. In the which the heaven shall and pass the away. Which of heaven shall pass away. With a great, with a noise, great noise. And the elements shall and melt. The elements shall do what? Shall melt. Wait a minute. Can you imagine seeing the stars melt like melt. wax? Oh, yes. One scripture says in the Old Testament, heaven and earth shall pass away and, and the elements going to wax old like a garment. That's right. And then he said, as a vexture, he going to fold them up. That's right. But when a prophet looked at God, he said, but thou art the same. That's right. And <laughs> go to say, God, what is that? And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What kind of heat? Fervent heat. That's hot. Fervent. And the earth also. Wait a minute. The earth? The earth also. Also. And the works that are therein. What's going to happen to everything in the earth? Shall be burned up. <laughs> That's why I don't care how big your house is. Glory in your mansion now. Go ahead. Glory in it. Extend it if you like. Amen. But God's going to burn it up. Yeah. Amen. Build it out of limestone and whatnot. And the three little pigs. That story ain't going to work here. Oh, no. Eh? No, no. Hey, man, you can build your house out of straw, wood, brick, silver, brass, yes. copper, gold, yes. limestone, uh, steel, and concrete. Mm -hmm. But, brother, yeah. when God Almighty hit creation, That's right. and he's going to hit it, too. Oh, yeah. He's giving the entire earth, every religion now, every religion on the earth, yes. must, must oh. stop the fake wish up. What do you mean fake wish up any time your religion is not what God has? Mm -hmm. And any time you profess to be something and God didn't tell you to be that, yeah. you got to shut that religion down. That's why we're telling everybody in the state of Mississippi mm -hmm. and the whole world, pack up and leave your churches. You might as well leave it. I got thousands of letters coming in. I brought some mail down here with me. I got so much mail, I try to travel with it and try to catch up and still never catch up. Amen. Thousands and thousands of letters from all around the world 
So many people write me and say, look, we don't obey what you said. We left church. We stopped going to church. Uh, several meeting in this building and watch the telecast. Several is meeting in that house. Yeah. All of you that's meeting in houses, you contact Pastor Jennings. Yeah. Let me know how many uh, is it of you and where you are. And none of you brothers don't take it upon yourself to try to preach now. That's right. Don't do that. The word of God is a dangerous tool. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Yeah. You, 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 you try to handle that and, yeah. unless you know what you're doing. And to know what you're doing, you got to be taught how to handle it. You can, you can take a 38 and hurt yourself with it. Oh, yeah. You know, you, if you're not taught how to handle a gun and you shoot it, you'll come back and hit your own self. That's right. My God, man, that thing is stronger than the gun. Oh, yeah. Eh? Oh, yeah. Amen. So there's so many of you that's meeting in houses and we got so many letters from universities, college universities, where hundreds of kids are meeting in dorms. Watching the message yeah. on YouTube, just watching it, Amen. saying how they never seen nothing like it. Many preachers are writing me and telling me how they got a smart TV in their office, and they say they watch the telecast and take notes and before they preach. One <laughs> take notes before they preach. One man wrote me and said, "I'm determined not to lie," <laughs> and so I watch you on my smart television, take notes, and then I just get up and preach the same thing. You may preach the same thing, but are you open? Obeying the same thing. That's it. Eh? That's it. Glory to God. The Bible says obedience better is better. Glory to God than sacrifice. sacrifice. What did he say, son? The earth. Also. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory to God. The earth also. The earth also. Also. And the works that are there in. This beautiful building here. All this hard work that Bishop Bellis is doing. But what God's going to do to it? Burn it up. <laughs> That 200,000 square foot campus that God gave us down there in Philadelphia mm, shall be burned up. It's going to burn up. Burned up. And man, the main auditorium, we can hold over 2,600 people. Yeah. And the lower auditorium, we can hold over 1,000 people. Oh, yeah. But when God comes, shall be burned up. God ain't going to say, well, I gave you that. I pass right over oh, it. Oh, no. And we can't, you can't take your... Listen, you can't take your house, no. you can't take your wife, your children, no. your jewelry, your car, you can't take nothing that you have. That's right. Don't you hear the Bible talking, nigga, you came in the world, That's right. nigga, you shall return. Yeah. And God, I'm so glad he got it fixed like that. That way you can realize what you are. Amen. Nothing but a speck of dust. That's all. Huh? That's right. That's all you are. That's it. You're nothing. nothing. All of us are nothing. Nothing. But a speck of dust. That's right. Or it take God, you owe God everything. Yeah. And you might as well surrender. Okay. Everybody under the sun, you might as well surrender. That's right. I don't care if you think you're so beautiful until when you walk, you make flowers grow. Oh, yeah. All the roses lift their head up at you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Amen. Or it take God. Mr. Man, Mr. Man, Mr. Man. I don't care if you think you're so handsome that when you walk the street, clouds back up and the sun shine upon your feet. That's right. But one day, darkness going to hit creation. Oh, yes. Yeah. One scripture said the sun will not give her light and the moon shall turn to blood. That's right. You going to remember Hallelujah. that God Almighty made you for his glory. That's right. You going to remember. That's right. Go around there and glory in yourself like you're so much. But you're going to understand the only one rule oh, yes. in the kingdom of man, and that's God himself. The earth also. The what? The earth also. The earth also. And the works that are therein. That makes me think. Yeah. That makes me think. All the works. All the works. All these nice, beautiful cars, Bentleys, Rose, and yeah. Maybox, and Ferraris, and everything. Lincolns and Jags and yeah. limousines and Porsche. And right. I don't care what all the works, the works. everything, yeah. every business, every company, right. all the millionaires, how you got rich, mm -hmm. God going to burn all mm -hmm. your business up. Amen. Do you hear it? The earth also. The earth also. Every news outlet. Listen, every news outlet, every cameraman in the world, yeah. you too. You, the word is for you too. That's right. And when, when you're done filming, you might as well get ready to repent of your sins, right. change your clothes, and go down oh, in water. 
so the Lord Almighty can wash them sins away. That's right. Or you and your camera is going to be dropped in hell. The earth also. The earth also. Everybody should give their life to God. That's right. Everybody. That's right. My God, man, look how good God Hallelujah. been to you. Hallelujah. You breathe. Hallelujah. My God permission. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. The clothes on your back. Hallelujah. God gave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The roof over your head. Hallelujah. God gave you. The food you put in your mouth. Hallelujah. 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 God gave you. Do you understand? Yes, also. The skill that you have. Hallelujah. The talent that you have. Hallelujah. God gave you. Oh, yes. I God who wouldn't serve a God like this. That's right. Every talent and skill you have. Oh, yeah. Don't you know God can shut your brains down right. whenever oh, yeah. he chooses? Yes. That's right. Certainly he can. Oh, yes. You couldn't even spit off yourself oh, yes. if it's not from God. That's right. Human family, yeah. you owe God everything. Oh yes. Amen. Give God your life. That's right. God told you I made you for my glory. I will say to the Lord. I will say I to the Lord. He said, I made you. I made the black man, the white man, the brown man, the yellow man. I made you for my glory. That's right. God didn't make you to smoke. God didn't make you to drink. God didn't make you to dance. God did not make you to serve the devil. That's right. God made you to live for him. That's right. God made you to walk with him. God made you to obey him. That's right. He's given man the opportunity. Look how he made it so that man will have no excuse. Until God came Himself. That's right. Isn't it? Yes. Hey Amen. He, he couldn't come and show you what to do as a spirit That's right. because the spirit couldn't shed blood. That's right. So the spirit put on a body yes. and then walked the earth That's right. to make sure you have no excuse. That's right. He walked among men. Yes. Amen. Showed you what, yes. what to do. Yes. Showed you how to do it. Yes. Allow His body to endure. Yes. Thank God, leaving us an example. That's right. Thank God that we should follow his step.